Hello there, this is Karin. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see in the title, today I'm going to show you what's inside my pencil case. I've been using this pencil case for about a year? Or is it even more? I don't know. I do think I have the haul somewhere when I got this from Aliexpress. So this is my Totoro pencil case and it's a bit, little bit uh, scratched and obviously painted on uh, but I still love it and I like the style of it. Okay so let me show you what's inside. This is the pencil case I keep in my uh, school bag when I go to church. I use it for when I know I'm gonna read, write or do some work. In any case with the pencil I bring in this long. It kind, it's kind of heavy but if I'm just going out for shopping or something like that I'm just keeping a couple of pens in a separate case. Okay so let me show you what's inside. I think I need to show you this side first. Okay so in this side there is a little pocket or there are two pockets. I'm gonna just see. <laughs> it's been a while since I've taken it all out. You know I'm not I haven't cleaned out this pencil case for this video, so <laughs> sorry if it's messy. And here I have a little bobby pin. Uh, it can go to where it's supposed to be. So here I have some random stickers, some lonely page flags, post-it notes, and more post-it notes, stickers, more, oh, what's that? Oh, a paper clip. Some semi flags. You know, this was a messy place. And even more of these cute paper mail stickers. I just love cotton. She's so adorable. I mean, look, I'm just keeping them here so I remind myself to use them. I've been quite bad lately on using stickers. I don't know, I've, I've just been looking at them and sighing and don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. <laughs> well, maybe every thing has its season maybe it comes back when when the sunshine and everything comes back anyways so here there is a large oh oh I didn't know I had so much things in it it's large so it goes all the way I just have to remove this for it these are translucent sticky notes I just love the idea I haven't used them as much as I thought I would but I just love them then some boring regular post-it notes. You never know if you want to hand someone a boring post-it note instead of a cute one. <laughs> okay, then I have a little ruler. You can never go wrong with that. And you can never go wrong with a bit of help in math. <laughs> and then I have this stencil. I got this from Aliexpress. And yeah, it's kind of cool. I use it in my bullet journal sometimes. Then I have... Oh, I've cut them. I am going to throw them away. Then I have like a little giant paper clip. Then I got the stencil again. I don't know. I got this in a goodie bag. I remember. And some lonely and this can be thrown away too. <laughs> so much things besides pen. I can't believe it. Okay, come on. Let's go get inside the pens. So here I have a little flip-flop. I just keep, this is the most amazing thing. It's a, it's a mini scissors like this. Awesome. You never know when you need a scissor. So I keep that with me on all times. Then I have this Pilot Vega pen. It's one of the pens I've had for the longest of times. I, I think it's 05. The, lead inside and it's really nice and it's so comfy oh that's maybe i have put things wrong this shouldn't be here I'm, <laughs> i have this uh, pilot vega gel also and i think it's 05 i have in you can change if you want 0.7 is said so there was it and i have a little random clip there if i need to fasten something Okay, let's get into all the lovely pens. First, not a pen again, I have this permanent like glue runner. I just love it to be able to both cut things and put things together. <laughs> then I have this one. This is like, a, oh, it's not protected. Where is that? 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> so this is just a white out tape. So you can cut things, you can glue things and you can white out things. Here we have first, let's see if there were any more. I have three of these iconic, let's see if they can, yes. Iconic highlighter with the twin tip. They are all just lovely. And they are pastel color, but I, this uh, pink one, I think it's a bit sharp for being a pastel. It's, no, I don't feel it. But I've used uh, the orange one quite a lot and the purple or the lavender color. So I have three of those. Important when you read a lot of journal article and so on. Then I have this Copic Multiliner, a black one with this size. It's kind of thick, it's too thick for me, really. I should have gotten a smaller one, but I again, this is something quite... Uh, I got a, a couple, I mean, a year ago or so on. I do love the Copic Multiliner, otherwise they are really good. They don't smear or stuff. So I should get myself a couple of more. Okay, then I have one of these and this is like... I'm terrible at brush lettering but I have one in case of in case of something I don't know why if someone want to use one or if I want to try and make something it's a pigma brush uh, and there's a Caroline maybe I should get, uh, get one that's more easy for a beginner like me okay then we have uh, one of these uh, Sakura Identity Pen it doesn't depend. And this is double and this is a thick like a marker and a fine one in the other end. And I use this to mark things and if I write, want to write something really big or it's permanent and it's like one of those good things to bring along if you want to write a sign or something. <laughs> it's always good. I know many people have borrowed it from me when I'm out and about. Okay, so let's go on. This is my Muji pens. I can't believe I have so many different pens inside this case. So first I have this one I got as a gift and this is a 0.5 orange one, uh, like a gel pen. Lovely to write with, perfect. And then I have these that are 0.38 in size, the green one, the pink one and the black one. And as you can see, <laughs> I kind of have used the black one the most and it's almost out actually. But I use these ones to color coordinate in my journal and so on, so they are perfect. And then I'm going to show you this little one and why this is the odd bird in the case. I wish I had a Muji one that is yellow, but I don't have one and I use yellow for one of my courses. So I have this Stabiluyu fine tipped little pen. I I don't mind them, but I don't like them especially. But I have this in the case if I want to write something. Then my most used pen ever. This is the Energel Pentel Liquid Gel Pen 05 in size. I've used this so much so it's begun to break a bit. I think I refilled this with ink three times already and I, I think I'll, next time I will get a new case, like a new pen. But it's perfect, It's I just love to write with it. And then I got its cousin or sibling you might say and this is the Pentel Energial the 07. I find this lovely to write with but it's too thick for me. I want to write smaller things so that's a really good one if you like to write a bit bigger. Then in the same family I have the Pentel Energel colors in uh, 07. The purple, red and green. They, I use them as a marking in my notes when I'm taking notes like what is the header, what is the special word, is this more important. I kind of use them together. They are really, really nice. But they can smear a bit if you're not careful. 
and again they are all 07 so I think they are a little bit too big I would like 05 but I haven't gone and looked for them okay so this is a regular ballpoint pen I don't tend to use them but this acro ball it's so nice to write with if it wasn't so big it's like it says 10 but I think it's it means like it's one like these are 07 and these are one so um, I do like to write with it but uh, I haven't used it that much it kind of I need to write bigger and I like to write small but it's really nice and I keep it here in case I just need a ballpoint pen for some reason and then I have this one is just a regular eraser that if I ever used my pencil I will be able to erase it I just realized there is one pen missing and this is the pen I had it outside of the case for a minute and it's the pilot g207 I do like the ink it's very nice to write with and I think it's kind of the same ink that's inside this you can use the refills interchangeably so I use it when I correct my own assignments and stuff on paper and I really wanted a pink one and I bet they Pentel probably have one in pink but I haven't investigated it so of course you buy a pen here and you buy a pen there oh so this is all of the things it's kind of a lot let me show you. So here is all of the stuff that's in my pencil case. I hope you did enjoy this video and if you have any questions or wonder about any of the pens and what I feel about them especially, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try to answer them. Uh, I don't know where you can get the pen. You can check online of course if you have a local store or if you can get them on Amazon. It's quite different and I can't remember where I got all of them. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would make me really happy. And if you haven't already, do subscribe and I will see you next time with more fun. Bye bye.